Hey, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with our final GTH box break for the GTH box month here of September. So here is box number 30 for September 30th, 2021. This is going to be hopefully a giant box, an absolutely giant box. You guys know for the last month, we've been doing the GTH box here, uh, a box a day, every day. So 30 straight days of the GTH box, uh, which as you all know by now, probably on this channel, it's just my take on a loose pack break and I kind of mix it in with like the sub box feel. Uh, you know, it's obviously my created kind of ultra corny and cheesy little box here, which I, uh, I love to throw in eight kind of packs. Sometimes I theme it, sometimes I don't. Today we're going to end with a bang, at least a bang as far as packs go. What I pull, I have no control of that, but uh, we have some insane, insane potential. Background cards very quickly. I'll give you a moment to admire those because I threw up some doozies back here. Uh, we have a chance to actually pull some of these exact cards today. But, uh, you know, some really, really good ones here. I mean, on the right side, we got the Sid the Kid Young Guns Rookie. That's a PSA 10 from 0506 Series 1. Here's a really old school one, one of the all-time greats. Um, I really like him. I think his card values are still going to keep going up, even though it's, you know, obviously they're up. And this is really old school. But from 1933, Gaudi, uh, a Hack Wilson PSA 2.5. That is your all-time RBI leader. His record still stands to today. Uh, then starting on the left, again, the far left, from 2017, Don Russ Optic, the Lime Refractor PSA 10, Patrick Mahomes, uh, the second rookie card there. And then this is actually a very recent buy. I think it's the first time I'm showing this maybe on the channel. Um, I picked this one up in an LCS, and I, I couldn't resist. It wasn't one I was seeking out, but uh, it's a cool card. Uh, the Sports Illustrated cards for kids are definitely starting to take off and really go up in value. Um, so here's a pretty good one for me to start with uh, from 2003, Sports Illustrated for Kids. LeBron James kind of pre-rookie card or rookie card, however you want to view that there, his high school card right there. Um, and that is a BGS 8.5. But, yeah, guys, some of the all-time greats, because we are going to go for the all-time greats in here. We have the ultra high-end, ultra maybe goat break, I guess we're going to call it. Let's see the eight packs I'm talking about. For anybody that recognizes certain packs in certain years, you probably see that right off the bat there, that very top pack is a doozy. Um, so, yeah, we got eight packs. So let's see what we're talking about. So, number one, our football packs. We got 2017 Panini Prism. We're looking for Patrick Mahomes' rookie card in here. Very expensive retail pack right there. Uh, I mean, uh, honestly, a very expensive retail pack. Everything in here is very expensive. I mean, I, I'll bet you off the top of my head, you're definitely over $500. You're probably approaching $1,000 in these packs maybe today that we're going to be opening. But uh, I actually do not have a Prism Mahomes rookie, so I'll be looking for the first one of that. That would be awesome. Other football pack, 2017 Donruss Optic. It's a retail pack, but that you can find the Mahomes rated rookie card in there, and that would be really, really cool to pull that. Basketball, 0304 MVP, Upper Deck MVP, that is. Uh, this is a retail pack, not a hobby pack, but uh, it doesn't matter. We are looking for LeBron. That is his rookie year right there. This is probably the weakest pack of them all. I had some other 0304 stuff, but I, I chose to kind of set it aside for a future date because I'm working on something else. But I had this sitting around, and I was like, let's put it in there. I know there's not, like, all-time greats in this right now, but you never know with this one. This is a highly sought-after class. 1920 Prism retail pack right there. These prices have gone through the roof uh, because of the man on the cover, Zion, and also, um, you know, some of the others for sure, like Jaw, R.J. Barrett, you know, a few of those there. Our hockey packs. 0506 Series 2 to go with 0506 Series 1. So here we're looking for the Sid the Kid Young Guns. In the background on the right, Sid the Kid Young Gun can be found in there. And then Alexander the Great 8 Ovechkin, you can find his Young Guns rookie in Series 2 of that year. So we're looking for that. Now here is a big doozy pack. You guys know this. Anybody that doesn't recognize that, you should. Uh, 2011 Tops Update Retail Pack. Looking for the Trout. That is a huge, huge pack right there, guys. Huge, huge pack. And then last but not least, we got a retail fat pack of 2018 Tops Update. Some big players in there. The man on the cover, you can find Shohei Otani in there, but you can also find Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr., Glaber Day, um, among many others. Shane Bieber. I mean, there's a lot in there. Um, so this is just crazy. And actually, just looking at this for the first time, 
I just now realized I think every pack in here is actually a retail pack today, which I actually did not plan that. Um, and yeah, for retail to be over easily over five hundred dollars in the value on these packs, that's just crazy. Telling you where we're at in the state of the sports today. But uh, yeah, guys, I don't even know where to begin here. Let's do what am I feeling? What am I feeling? Let's do basketball first. No real rhyme or reason with any of this stuff, but I'm going to do basketball first. I think I'm going to save the baseball for the end uh, because those are really, 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 really potentially big packs there. Uh, we'll start with the 1920 Prism. Only four cards in here. Like I said, I am looking for Zion particularly for me. I do not have his Prism rookie. I have his rookies and plenty of things, but not his uh, Prism rookie. I pulled a Jaw rookie out of here so far and an R.J. Barrett, but I'm looking for... Zion, the man that's on the cover there. So hopefully, like I said, guys, I'll take one single nice rookie card that we're looking for today. I want to fill this rookie card one touch I have standing by at the side here. Let's end the GTH Box Month in a big way, hopefully. Um, and GTH Box Month is not going to be over. Well, it is going to be over the month is, but the GTH Box will definitely not be gone. That's probably my funnest break I do on this channel, and you guys seem to love it the most as well. So I'll definitely be sprinkling those in here uh, plenty of times throughout the future. Alonzo Morning starts us off. Aaron Gordon. Uh, behind there, we've got an emergent. Mikhail Alexander-Walker. So the wrong Pelican there. And last but not least, no rookie stamp, no Zion, but it's a Wilson Chandler. So nothing crazy in that pack really at all. Uh, just the emergent kind of insert. All right, 0304 MVP. How many chances do we have at a LeBron here? It doesn't even... Oh, there it is. Eight cards per pack. So we have eight chances... I'm pulling a LeBron rookie out of here. I do not have his MVP rookie, so that would be a first for me. I would love to pull one of these pack fresh. That would just be so, so cool. Uh, a little bit of minor stickage. Let me pull it back and just give it a little... Not not too bad, but a, a little, I guess, minor adjustment there. All right, so let's pull it in here, and let's see what we can get. Baron Davis on Mercer. There's their advertisement. Uh, Chris Jeffries, uh, Nene. Oh, that's nice. I'll take that. Look at that. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's a consolation prize there that I'll take any day of the week. So Kobe Bryant, Sports Nuts Fantasy Game Scratch Off. Never seen one of these. I, I don't open a ton of this product, though, obviously. But uh, that is a, a pretty cool card there. I'm sure we're going to have to sleeve and top load that one. That's a that's pretty cool. Set that aside. Rising to the occasion, Tracy McGrady. Interesting. Two cards left. Uh, Travis Outlaw in our last card. What is? Oh, it's a scratch off. Instant prize scratch off. Didn't even know they did those in these. So there you go. So no LeBron, unfortunately, but that um, that Kobe is a nice consolation prize. I will say that. I have no complaints getting that Kobe. All right, I think I'm going to do hockey next, believe it or not. Uh, hockey's probably my favorite sport, as you guys know, on here. But I feel like these are maybe our lowest odds for pulling the cards we're looking for because it's just so doggone hard to pull, you know, a Young Guns, let alone uh, the exact one that we're looking for here. But uh, let's start with Series 2. Look for the Grade 8 first, I guess. I've never pulled his or a Sid the Kid uh, Young Gun pack fresh. I have their rookies. They're graded rookies. I have several of them, but I do not have any raw ones i've never pulled any you know pack fresh or anything like that so that would be the thrill for me and this one has a little bit of stickage unfortunately too it doesn't seem terrible you can hear that little bit that is kind of going on there actually i might just do a quick little thing from the side like this just to make sure that we're not actually they're not really stuck it's just maybe those last couple uh that's right in 0506 you're gonna have a victory oh there we go victory um card on the end and then i think uh series two from this year should have diary of phenom with uh sydney crosby so you're gonna get a sid card in here but uh you get that in every retail pack so paul korea pierre turgeon flip it around scary gary roberts man i love him when he was on the pens uh keith carney man they're making us do a lot of flips here i'll say that patty marlowe mike york Another flip for Mike Ribeiro. And then there's our Diary of a Phenom. And a John LeClaire update with a lot of paper loss. Wow, that was where that stickage was at. And there is the paper loss. And 
This card was in reverse, so you got a little bit of paper loss down there at the bottom, too. This is like a 30-card little subset that they put in Series 2. Um, there's number 26. If you can't see with the focus, there you go. Um, I have the entire subset of this and stuff in better condition than that, too. But uh, So technically a Sid card from his rookie year, technically, but there's just no value in those uh, those Diary Phenom cards there, really. All right, 0506 Series 1. This is the one that I would really love to pull. The Sid the Kid Young Guns. Oh, that'd be so cool. So, so cool. Oh, come on. Hopefully the stickage is not too bad in here. Let's at least go through and get a Young Guns tease maybe or something like that. All right, Joe Sackick starts us off. Eric Dauze. Uh Sammy Kapanen. Uh, a little bit of stickage here. A card behind here, and then it's one of those Upper Deck advertisements, it looks like. Uh, yeah, PJ Axelson. There's that upper deck advertisement. Rick Nash, very early on in his career. Which is it? I think these are going to do the flips. Let's just do it now. Um, hey, Casper. Terry's Casper Reyes. I remember the Casper Reyes Crunch Bar. Uh, it made by the Joe Clark Company here in Pittsburgh and stuff. In his heyday with the pens in the late 90s. Loved him. Brad Richards. Shane Doan, and then one of those hockey scrapbooks of Mike Madonna. So, unfortunately, not even a Young Guns in there, but it is what it is. All right, I guess we'll do the football. Let's do the Optic Pack first. Both of these were looking for Mahomes rookie, for sure, without a doubt. Four cards in here. Again, this is the Optic one we're starting with. Four cards in the Prism Pack as well. Never pulled a Mahomes rookie in any brand, to be honest. Um, I would just... I'd take his rookie in anything. You guys know how hot he is. Um, okay, there we go. Marcus Mariota starts us off. We have some type of parallel in here, but I don't think it's a rated rookie. Randall Cobb. Oh, it is a rated rookie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'll lose my mind. if uh, I don't think you can use that code. I'd lose my mind if that was Mahomes. I don't think that it is Sidney Jones. And that is a rookie, by the way. That's Sidney Jones. Um, oh, man. Oh, gosh. Please. Oh, man, I'll scream. And it is not, but it is a Mac Hollins. Oh, man, that would have been a big card. The pink refractor parallel ray rookie of uh, Mac Hollins. Had that been oh, Patrick Mahomes, you're talking about over $1,000 raw on that card easily. And, and in all honesty, too, the other sick thing about this, I mean, look at this. That is really, really, for the most part, centered fairly well. Maybe a little bit off, but not much. I mean, that that's a good card, pack fresh. If that was Mahomes. Oh, mama, you're talking serious money. All right, last chance of Mahomes. Let's do 2017 Prism. I would love to have Mahomes in Prism. Do not own anything Mahomes rookie-wise in Prism. Only four, chan or four cards, so four chances. Oh, let's hope for a miracle, guys. A miracle is what we need. And we got a green for our second card. My gosh, let's turn this. We got a little bit of stickage going on here, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, Josh McCown, our green. No rookie. Oh, it is a rookie. I'm sorry. Our Darius Stewart for the Jets. So maybe I should pull from the – I don't know which way I should pull – Thought the rookie stamp might be at the top. Maybe we get a tease, but let's go this way. Uh, Alan Hurt, or I'm sorry, Hearns. He said Jalen Hurts. Alan Hearns. And a C.J. Mosley for the Ravens. And there's that kid reporter thing with a code that I'm sure is no good anymore. So we did hit a rookie green. Another teaser of our rookie parallels hitting our Darius Stewart in the green. Oh, man, that would have been sick. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to save. We're going to do baseball last year. I'm going to save the update for the end for sure. Let's do this giant fat pack of updates, retail. Everything's retail, like I said today, that we did. Uh, okay, get that open there. I already told you guys the rookies. There's a lot of big ones in here. Very desirable set. You can get some good parallels in here as well. Let's at least get one decent rookie, huh? Andrew Kashner, Daniel Daniel Polk, a rookie, Jordan Lyles, George Springer, Dustin Fowler, rookie, Daniel Mengden, rookie, Jay Happ, Javi Baez, 
Do a flip here for Neil Walker, local guy from about 10 minutes away. Jan Gomez, Leonis Martin, Pauly Goldschmidt, Gene Segura, Trevor Cahill. Should be getting into the meat of this where the inserts are coming up. Tyson Ross, Marcelo Zuna, Mr. 3000. I mean, technically you got tried on there. That's pretty cool. Albert Pujols, that's nice. Brian Dozier. Flip around again. For a rookie of uh, Jacob Nottingham. Kevin Gossman. And we got a gold of Sing Hwan Ho. These are our inserts here. Show you guys that'll be out 2018, as you see. All rise for the judge. International Fair, Chris Bryant. Legends in the Making, Matt Chapman. And then back to base, Brad Hand. John Lester, JV. Brad Ziegler, come on. Adam Engel, let's get one. Just one. Matt Adams, one of those rookie combos. Eric Hosmer. Well, there's technically there's a Shohei rookie, even though it doesn't have the stamp. Got Shohei Otani and Ichiro right there, Japan's finest. The card's actually been gaining traction if you get that in a PSA 10. It's been definitely going up in price. Chris Stratton and Nelson Cruz. So technically, I guess, a Shohei rookie, but not really, you know, not tremendous value in there. But this, this was the pack I was most excited for, believe it or not, at least as a baseball fan. And wanting to always, I've always wanted to pull Mike Trout rookie card. We've got 12 chances. We got a retail pack here of 2011 Tops Update. Once again, 12 cards, 12 chances. Let's get it. Let's please get it. That would be so cool. I do have a Trout rookie that's in the uh, PSA 10 grading from this set, but um, I've never pulled one, obviously, and that would just be insane. You can't pull parallels. I see we have some type of you see that crazy kind of coloring there. We do have a parallel in the mill. That would be insane if it was. Well, I don't even want to talk about it. Let's just go. So, Jeff Carstens, Charlie Morton, uh, Jorvit Terelba, Cliff Lee, as we turn around here. Might take this even slower. Logan Forsyth, rookie. That's nice. Logan Forsyth. I mean, there's other rookies, too, but, I mean, uh, let's, let's be honest. You know who we're looking for here. Russell Morton, our parallels or something we got two kind of insert cards here let's turn around like this i think it goes like this steven drew to get a free digital pack and then the other one that's got the crazy stuff on it oh man it's a diamond anniversary it's not it but it's a tommy hansen oh man would that have been an absolute monster if that was the trot my gosh and the diamond anniversary oh mama you're talking over 20,000. Brandon League. Mm, Matt Joyce. Two chances left, guys. One chance. Mike Adams in our last card. It's not going to be. It's a pitcher. Jared Weaver. So right team, wrong player. Jared Weaver. It is what it is, guys. You know, it's, it's kind of a make it or break it video. I knew that. I mean, that's that's pretty cool to pull one of those Diamond Anniversary cards. I think that's the first actual one of those I've ever pulled. Because I haven't opened much 2011 updates. So you had that. You had the, I guess, technically Shohei rookie, sort of. You know, even though it doesn't have that rookie stamp. This might be my favorite card of the break, as weird as it sounds, is that Kobe. I know it's not a rookie or anything like that, but it's, it's a cool card. I've never seen it before. I have no idea the value of that. I mean, I'm sure it's probably maybe only a few bucks, but it's a cool card. Scratch off there of Kobe. So... Yeah, nothing, unfortunately, very crazy there. Some rookie teases, some parallels, and everything else, but uh, not the big guys that we were looking for in particular today. That's okay, guys. I'm going to keep plugging away. It's a, it was a fun break, nonetheless. I know it was a lot of money, but it was a fun break. I can't do that kind of break every day, obviously, but uh, I do have more of, I think, each of those packs. Um, so, you know, at some point, we will be busting more of this on here. I can promise you that. Please, 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 guys, do me a favor, a like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Especially give me a like for this video, for how much this cost, and for, you know, wrapping up the GTH box month. And like I said, if you guys want more of this, which I, I would assume you do, I definitely do. Let me know in the comments and stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more GTH boxes, I can promise you, on here. 
Uh, yeah, guys, as always in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you are at, and we will see you next time.